A few months ago, I was hanging out with my friend Myth, and he left his credit card behind. So like a good friend, I held on to it for him. And like a good friend, I thought I would let my chat buy some things for Myth. For Myth! Not for me, of course, that would be wrong, that would be stealing. So we decided to buy some things to spruce up his stream room. My chat has been really good at helping me decorate my room, so I figured they'd do a good job decorating his room as well. I made a whole video about it, but here's a 30 second recap of what happened. What the fuck is this? It's a stone bench? What made you think to get this? Jesus Christ, can I show this? An outdoor shed! He said he wants an outdoor field. A 12 foot by 12 foot synthetic artificial grass turf. Now this would literally cover the entirety of the room. Do we get it? Yes! Uh... <laughs> Dude, it's $500. <laughs> and then I forgot all about that stream until I got this message from Myth. So then I had a genius idea. I had my web developer friend Otto design a way for my chat to decorate Myth's stream room with all the items they bought. We 3D modeled every single item so that they could place it exactly where they wanted. I would be their contract worker and chat would be my interior designer bosses who would tell me where to place every single item. And that's exactly what we did. Now, there were a few big items, so before we started the stream, I put down all the AstroTurf, and here's a montage of me building a shed that I'm pretty sure is supposed to be used outdoors. And then we started designing, and here's where the fuck-up happens. Chat has a very creative vision. It just turns out that it doesn't always translate to real world applications chat what is up welcome welcome this has been a long time coming welcome to myth's stream room i i look tiny inside of it but wow this is actually why do i look so small next to this door this door is really tall i want you to know this is a really really tall door it's not that i am really small easily confused just want to clarify. You might notice right now I'm standing on AstroTurf. This is not an accident. You guys bought AstroTurf. This was one of your items. I pre-placed it for you guys and I cut it around the door so that you can still open the door. That's what that is in the desk so that you can put your feet down. I also, with the help of Nick Yingling, built this shed. This is, this is a real aluminum shed for the outdoors, which actually has a fun little entrance. You can, I don't know what this could be used for. Ah, help! I don't know what this could be used for, but it's a real shed that people could use. So anyway, that's our first item. You can vote where the utility shed is placed in a 3D modeled space. Where in this place do you want it to be? Now, I only have one request. Do not place the shed in front of the door. It would be a, it would be a pain in my ass. Cause I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know how we would get in. Is that it? That's where it is right now. You want me to just keep it there? Wait, really? I mean, I thought we could do it in front of the door. Like it'd be a funny little gag. I was gonna, no. Okay, yeah, it's just in the same exact spot. Okay. Here's part of the problem I'm noticing. Cause this is, can you see me? This is, this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom over here. And it's kind of, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It sections off the room in a way. Uh, let's get to our next item. This is our next item that we are placing. It's the pink desk and it comes with handy dandy drink holder. Do we, do you want us to try see, we can see if we can fit it in the shed. Okay, actually. <laughs> okay, this, this is, a, this is the most we could do here. I mean, we still have the drink coaster. Yeah. That's kind of convenient. That's like you if you were sitting here gaming, you just be gaming and then you go, That's not bad. All right, great. Where are we at? What's our next one? The industrial fan. <laughs> now, if you guys somehow forget about the buying stream, there was one theme that kind of led us to our cohesive interior design vision. I almost respect Chet's interior design vision here. Part of what you guys were concerned about very intelligently was how small this room is and how hot it gets in here. So you thought, what if we got a industrial size fan? Is that on the shed? No, hold up, hold up. This is like a scene in Final Destination. It's a slant, it's slanted. You put an industrial sized fan on it, it's gonna kill a man. Ow, fuck! 
And I was a small fan. Imagine one ten times the size. Imagine. Well, first of all, let's just see. Does it work? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me, chat? Hey, can you hear me? It's working. Good news, it works. Bad news, do you know where they placed it? On top of that guy. On top of this guy. Yeah. You know what the problem with that is? It's just gonna fall. It's gonna fall. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Oh my God, oh my God. Dude, the shed is folding in. Oh, that's terrifying. Chat, can I offer a suggestion? No, okay. I didn't even say the idea yet. My idea was actually gonna be let's 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 keep it there, you know? So now you look dumb. You look dumb. What if we placed the fan on its back? Right now it's positioned in a way where frankly it could kill a small child. If we put it on its back, it would have more surface air. No. I actually didn't think of that. Turn it on! Oh my god. <laughs> All good. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that decision making right there? You almost got me fucking canned. Everything good in there? Yeah, dude, oh my God. Funniest thing happened. It was actually a SWAT. Yeah, it was a micro SWAT. A micro SWAT? Uh-huh. SWAT team? Yep, but they're all gone now. Oh, okay, that's good. Glad that worked out. Fuck, stupid fucking. This is just a nightmare, it's a nightmare. We're gonna be fine. All right, chat, what is our next item we're gonna place? Otto, can you show everybody in chat? It's the sand pit, and you want it in front of the door. Oh, it's a push door, though. Can you actually just move out of the way here? Yep. Okay, can you get the rocks for me? <laughs> yeah. Perfect, thanks. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I can grab these from you. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I got it. Great. Oh, Yan? Yeah, what's up? Could you also just get me a water real quick? Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, I'll just grab it from here. Yeah. Great, thank you. Did anyone notice anything weird about that interaction? Anything that made it a little harder? You were cringe. <laughs> yeah, good call. That's what I was thinking too, is I was too cringe in the interaction. Uh, zombie baby. Okay, first of all, what kind of liberal media is this where the zombie baby is positioned like that? One, weird. Two, how is it so big? All right, it looks like it's on or in the sand pit. So maybe we'll do a chat vote. I kind of like in, cause it kind of like, it ties the sand pit together. Cause I feel like some people would be like, why is there a sand pit in my house? What is that doing here? I don't have a kid. There's no sand in the sand pit. Why is it in front of the door? Fucking morons, one. Two, this would explain why there's a sand pit. You know? They'd be like, oh, it's for the devil, baby. Chad, where are we, playing the, where are we placing the Batman sofa? Where, where is this going? It could be the gaming chair. Honestly, not the dumbest thing you've said today. Sorry, we're, I'm getting out of line. As your contractor, I love that idea. I love that idea. Great. Now, they actually recommended this as the gaming chair, Yan. Yan, could you come in here? Do you think it's a good gaming chair? Is it good? Yeah. Oh, this is this is perfect. You could play games like that? Oh, yeah. You top fragging? Easily. <laughs> Let's call it a day. Appreciate it. Thanks for the model. Yeah. All right, chat, what's our next item? I'm just going to sit in the gaming chair. What is our next item? You're telling me we had a chair and you chose the sofa to go in front of the desk? When we had a chair to place, where are we putting the chair then? She's going on the shed? I don't love that. I, I, okay, uh, can I speak to you guys candidly as your contractor? Do you guys think that a rolling chair on the roof of a slanted aluminum shed could potentially have some negative side effects? Tabletop fountain. Oh, that's easy. I assume we're gonna place this on a tabletop. Is that on the chair? Did I look at that right? Did you put that on the chair on the shed? 
This job fucking sucks. This is actually kind of cool. Now put it on the chair. I don't want to. It's a bad idea. I don't want to place it on the chair. I'm not going to do it. You have made your sim upset. I am hungry. I am tired. I have low hygiene. I have low fun meter. I am not going to put this on the chair. I won't do it. Rigged, ask Yan to do it. Yan! Sorry. Well, it's my 10 minutes, and um, I'm hoping you can place this current item. All right. On the chair, on the chair. I'm seeing a lot of on the chairs. Oh, it's already wet. It's already wet and wild. Love this. This is great. All right, chat. Fountain is on the chair. Actual fucking piece of shit. Fucking overachieving. We don't get paid enough to work that hard. This one is a Victory Royale painting, an homage to Miss Myth's past, uh, uh, present, and future. Can I get that? Oh, it's this small? Yeah. That is inappropriate. God damn! All right, next item is the goodbyes bench chat. We're replacing this. This is a nice little bench so you can relax in your environment. Maybe next to the bats, maybe next to the waterfall to enjoy the sound of it. Maybe in front of the fan. That way you can get a good blow on your back. And who doesn't like that? Who doesn't like their back getting blown out? What the fuck is this? Goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I'll miss you until we meet again. Who died? Oh, that is not stable. Oh, this is so dangerous. Oh my God, this is terrifying. It's actually not that bad. It's actually not bad at all. All right, next up we got the pee pee poo poo. What is that? What is pee pee poo poo? Pee pee poo poo? Pee pee poo poo. All right, slowly, bit by bit, we're getting more height on this chair. And honestly, we're getting a bit comfortable. We're nearing on comfort. He's sitting on pee pee poo poo. Okay. How old are you guys? People want the seal plush on the pink desk. All right, seal plush, lock it in, next item. Rotating stand. Okay. All right, next item. We got Pochita from Dragon uh, Saw Man. You want them on the ground? Oh no, that's in the cup holder. How about this? And check it out, you can still use the cup holder. That's convenient. All right, this is the human model. Uh, this, oh, that's not important. You have two of those. This is the heart. It goes in here. Where are we putting them? I got distracted. We put them on the spinning stand. What? Oh my God, it looks like a Titan. Last thing, oh, look at this little guy. It's a little mushroom light. You plug it into the wall and you get a little light. What the hell? What the hell? How is that happening? It's in nightlight, Lugwood? Lug, lug, lug oh. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boy, do I seem a bit dumb. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. To recap, we have about 30 total items in this room. The first one is in, in the 3D spaces you can see that we place is this shed, which conveniently shrinks the size of the room. That way you feel more cozy. We've decided to place the chair on top of the shed for artistic purposes. You might be wondering, Ludwig, how am I supposed to sit in game? Great question. We actually have a pee pee poo poo pillow on top of a 50 pound bag of sand on top of a stone bench to remember those that you've lost. Then we have some wall art uh, that includes L L Lucy from Edge Runners, Lucy from Edge Runners, Squidward. Fun thing about Squidward, huh? And then, and then we have um, the seal where, where things can spin. You can also actually enter the closet. Ah! Did I forget anything? And after four months and four hours of work, this was the final vision of YouTube Chat's dream design. So I asked Myth what he thought. I want you to close your eyes. Okay, I'll close my and eyes. And uh, I'll lead you in if you want to just follow me. Okay. Well, you have to move something? <laughs> You're moving something. Ludwig, you, there's things that, in front of the door. I, oh, keep my eyes closed. The door is blocked. Keep your eyes closed and come in and enjoy your new room. Oh. <laughs> Just open your eyes and look All right. Down. What the 
the fuck is that? I see you've noticed the artwork we put up for you. It's yeah, what the fuck is that? That's a Fortnite Victory Royale. Something it's Lucy! Wow, you put her on the door. How'd you hang that up there? Honestly, I drove a nail into your door. <laughs> Did you actually drive a nail into the door? No, of course not. No. It's just over tape. Why? My chair's on top of the shed. So we put a chair on top of the shed for you. Uh-huh. Because what is the best way to grow? The best way to grow? As a human. As a human? By learning? And? Limiting. Limit, limiting. Yeah. What is limiting? I guess a good example is when Rock Lee fought Garo, he took off the leg weights because he was limiting it himself in training. Yeah. And you as a gamer, to get you to the next level, we figured we'd remove the most helpful item for a gamer, the gaming chair. And instead, you now have a um, 50 pound bag of sand and a stone bench to remember loved ones. I had a Herman Miller before all this. There's a clock. How'd you get a clock up there? Just you did this with no ladder. Stand under it. You are currently standing in the most dangerous place in your room right now. <laughs> Why is that? Because it is hung up by one nail and drywall, and it could fall at any moment. Okay. You are now risking your life. Okay, I don't want to. Not technically OSHA approved. Uh, you have kind of a choice here. Do you want to go back behind this section here, this play corner? There's nothing to play with in the play corner. Well, that's not true. There's a fan. And you have a I can stick my fingers in it. What the fuck happened to the fan? Try plugging it in, maybe it still works. Hmm, let's turn it on. Why doesn't it spin? What's the point of having the fan spin? Isn't it nicer to have a dull hum in the background? Here, wait, let me see. It does add to the ambiance. It adds to the ambiance. Now, I wouldn't keep it on because it could be dangerous, right? You could die. Oh. So I would turn it off. So turn it off. Yeah. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm going to die. What? Of happiness. That's right. Because of this room. Drywall. Why are they saying drywall? I don't know. Can you sign this for me? Can I sign it? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Why can't I read it? I see a word room there with a capital R in the middle it? of a sentence. Can you sign it? Please? Which is really weird because why would you capitalize a word in the cry. middle or the end cry. of a sentence and not the beginning? I'm going to cry if you don't sign it. Okay. I'm going to cry if you don't sign it. Ludwig is not liable for emotional or physical damages that happen in the room. Signed by Myth. Interesting placement for this, uh, <laughs> this big green uh, scenery in the background, Ludwig. Really? I Almost. Thought it was, I thought it was fitting. <clears throat> I guess it is the only place that you could put it, but did something maybe happen behind it? No. <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck happened? Lud, what is this? What's what? What What are these big ass marks in the wall? I think they were there when I got here. There's a hole. Wait, but what happened? Tell him about the fan. Wait, yeah, so what happened to the fan? Yeah, and what happened to the fan? It, uh, it blew so hard, it just went straight into the wall. Whoa. It was really powerful. That's why we bent it so you wouldn't hurt yourself. That's cool. Do you have any other <clears> questions, <throat> concerns? No, I love it. When I walked into the space and I opened my eyes, I, I felt like I was in a different world. Mm. And I think that's really cool. Right. Is just being like, whoa, you guys did this to this space? Yeah. Regardless, like whether or not it's bad or good, that's really subjective. It's different. Exactly. It's different. So I honestly, I think I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. Okay. Cause when I opened my eyes, I could not recognize where the fuck I was. That's great. Yeah. I was like, wow, I am a filthy degenerate streamer now. Thank you so much. Thank you for, oh. Oh, we're not handshaking? No, it was. <laughs> I thought you wanted to shake my hand. That was my payment. Oh, what payment? If you guys want to see Myth sleep in that room for an entire night, he made a video doing it. I would go check it out because I'm sure it was a living hell. And thank you guys for making uh, his room a living nightmare. And my stream have better content. And I'll see you all later. Subscribe. All right, see you later. Goodbye. See you later, guys. Goodbye.